talk steak, sizzle and cutlery. Just honest opinions, no butlery. From the land of milk and honey, every week, one day. For visitors new and old, welcome back to the Ball is Bay, your favorite NBA podcast in an Indian accent. We are delighted to welcome you all once again, wherever you are hearing us. We are now available on almost all podcast hosting sites, so there's no excuse for you to not listen to us. Uh, please let us know your excuses in the comment section anyways. Press the follow button on our Twitter and Instagram handle at Ball is Bay Pod. And as always, if you use Facebook, we will try to speak louder for you all. Uh, it's an old people joke. Uh, tweet us, comment, troll us if you want, but beware, we aren't that great at taking criticism and you'll only make us cry. Uh, speaking of trolls, I've got once again my main man, Vineet Devaya, joining us all the way from fall-ridden New York, New York. Vineet, say hi. Hello. Oh, that's a very subtle uh, change from last week. No, last time was WhatsApp. Ah, so, okay, so completely different change. I was talking about the tone. Oh, the tone, more true, 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 true. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, how how is the weather treating you this fine Thursday morning, Vineet? You know, the weather's been great. It's been nice and sunny sitting inside. Uh, and as you go outside, it's really cold. Uh, so, the, the sunny is more of a metaphor. It's not really... No, like, it is kind of sunny. About the sun. It's, just, you know, <laughs> it's not warm sunny. It's really freezing cold sunny. Uh, freezing cold sun, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, have you seen that uh, um, picture which has been doing the rounds on social media, which has like 27 figure of speeches, and you have to guess all the, all of them? Has that picture reached your eyeballs? No. Okay. Well, um, it's 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 a it's a it's a yeah it's a quite a brain crackling experience. I, I'll send you the brain send you crackling the experience. And then your brain will be like, oh, what is going on? Like, all my experience has to be used for this. Oh, my God. It, it, it's, yeah. We, 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 I, I'll send it to you later. Okay. 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 Um, fine. But on, on today's episode, we talk about the top 15 players in the NBA during this third quartile of the season. If you are statistically challenged, then that means in the in this last 25% of the game, like from 50 to 75% one apart. Uh, we discussed Lakers' tactics, struggle to get knocked out in round one or tank and play up for next season. Uh, we talk about what really did we all miss about the Rockets this season. How could we all be so wrong? And how are the Indiana Pacers killing it? I mean, just how? That's The, the, the depth of that question just lies in the how part of it. All right, Vineet, let's start with our first topic. For top 15 players in the NBA. Let's do it. Uh, let's let's do, it. do it. So... Um, do you want to do it in like an order or do we just yeah, give just give top 15 players? I think, uh, you know, going from, like this is interesting because I think it will get, I think it will get, so there. this is the way we can do it. One is we can go from top to down mm. or the bottom to top, mm-hmm. right? <laughs> wow, no, no, those are, <laughs> really are two options. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but I feel like going uh, top to bottom is kind of obvious because we all know the top, you know, six or seven players mm. and then who is the top player yeah. is like debate on to what kind of style you like, what what do you care mm. about. But I think it gets interesting in the 10 to 15 category. So uh, mm-hmm. maybe we can go top to down, but not really like, you know, it's not it's not a this this guy's number one or this guy's number two, but you know, these are the top players. These yeah. are the top yeah, players, performers. Yeah, yeah. Because number Definitely. one, number two is kind of like just, you know, not very useful. Because depending on what you think is useful, you can you can always put... Exactly. And like different players have had different uh, schedules also. So yeah, it's, um, it's just... it, 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 it doesn't really matter that much. I mean, even if we say Durant or Curry or, you know, Paul George or Giannis or whoever it is. Yeah. It, it's it's understood that they are these are the top five players in the NBA right now. Yeah. So yeah. that's the scene. So fine, we'll go... Uh, top 15 five. to 1, right. Or 1 to one to 5. First 1 to 5. That's what you said. Yeah, 1 to 5. One to five. <laughs> Fine. Fine. Then uh, we'll alternate. I, I, I'll put up our obvious MVP uh, front runner right now, Mr. Yanis Antetokounmpo. 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 One, one of our favorites. I mean, we have not discussed him that much because that boy is just beasting it up. Mm. We are waiting for him to beast it up in the playoffs before we start waxing poetic. Yes. Next. Uh, I think it's now your chance. <laughs> I would say Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard, absolutely. No arguments there. I mean, it will be foolish to argue about that. Yes. Uh, he, he's just been doing MJ-like things, man. Like all those uh, late Crazy. game winners. and. Crazy. 
Yeah, courageous. Yeah. Uh, that, uh, does he make you miss the San Antonio's oh, Kawhi a bit? Oh, my God. Or has that never actually left you? <laughs> Traitor. <laughs> it's funny because I, I, I was... Uh, I sent uh, another big Spurs fan. It's probably a bigger Spurs fan than me. Uh, the uh. the uh, interview with uh, that I had with him on the All-Star game. And he's uh. like, I refuse to see this because it's a traitor. <laughs> Uh, but uh, but, this but, one, yeah, but one having said that, he's, he's playing amazing. Uh, yeah, I, I absolutely no no doubt about it. I mean, Toronto, I, I, I can't wait for the playoffs, man. Like it's getting boring watching these players play these the normal ordinary games, and I want to see them actually play for you know like proper because uh, I I don't think they're gonna get the number one seed, but uh, like just give, give us some playoff basketball already. Are, are you are you also foaming at the mouth? Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, that's very. Uh, emphatic, yes. Yes. Okay. Just like Kawhi. Or are you? <laughs> I am kind of like Kawhi. My answers, okay, my answers okay. are given with... Because if I laugh, it's... Oh my God. Uh, uh, Should we speak about Kawhi Leonard's laugh? Did we speak about it? No, no, no we have not spoken about it. It was a long time ago. Oh, it was a long time ago. <laughs> I, I think with the All-Star game, somebody tried... Uh, I, I think Charlotte is Ric Flair's country. Ric Flair country. So somebody made him do a Ric Flair... Whoo! On sh- on air, like on the camera, and he obliged. It was it was uh, yeah, it was a different well, face I, I, than what you know. What I also remember, there was a guy who was standing right next to me, uh, and he asked. Uh, he he goes and he asks. I I think he was from Bleacher Report, and he says, uh, "Kawhi Leonard, uh, something like, can you can you give us a can you give us a smile at least?" And then Kawhi just gives him like the most tr- <laughs> Kawhi smile, most Kawhi smile. Yeah. Uh, All right. Okay. Next. You. Um, next. Next. Obviously, I, I will have to go with Mr. Uh, Paul George. Uh, hashtag Thunder up. The the man. Hashtag Thunder. The myth. He, he was player of the month for last month. He's not uh, played well in the last three uh, three games. But I mean, I, I think he's out of the front runner topic for MVP. But still, doesn't change the fact that he is the one of the top five players in the NBA right now. As of our distinctive uh, filter that we've put in yeah. the third quarter. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, I mean, he's, a, he's a legit candidate for defensive player of the year, most improved player of the year, which he might not win because, uh, I mean, uh, politics and whatever. But he, he, he is he's taken a step and okay, again, okay, can't okay, wait to see okay, what he does fine, in the fine. Hashtag Androp, hashtag always, you cannot <laughs> silence me. Okay. <laughs> So, three down, please. Next, your chance. Go for it. My main man, James Harden. James Harden. Like, I mean, how much no, can no, we no, talk no. about we have, this guy's We guy have to talk about him later, so let's just move on. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, yes, yes, that is true, that is true. So, yeah, we uh, will not be speaking much about him right now, but please know that uh, you can skip to the part where we talk about him. Hmm. Again, my, my choice for fifth best player... Uh, I think it's unfair. I mean, it's been three years since the trade, so I will uh, speak in parcel tongue for our uh, snake man K D. No, Kevin Durant. No, I disagree. I would say Steph Curry. You, t- Steph Curry. I don't know, man. Like on that team, Steph Curry. Like since Durant has been there, Steph Curry is like, uh, I, I'm, no, I, I'd still still put KD. I, I'd put KD. Well, Maybe. Steph's numbers are much better than KD's numbers. It doesn't matter, man. Like, Steph is not the killer on that team. It, I think it's KD. But, again, that's a... Okay, ma- fine, fine. It's, it's, We're not talking about loyalty and we're not talking about, like, overall greatness. Okay, we're cool. talking I mean, about, yeah, know, just okay, okay, effectiveness. Cool. And, okay, cool, cool. Cool. So, in that, that case, I think... Uh, so, are we going to do 6 to 10 or are we doing 10 to 15? I mean, 11 to 15. 6 to 10, bro. Let's we go properly. 6 to 10. No. 6 10. God, oh my God. <laughs> fine. So, 6... Uh, we can go with Steph Curry. I have no issues okay. with that. Steph, Steph Curry. Curry fine. Is the man. Good. Steph Curry. Fine. Then, mm, oh, I, it's my chance. Huh? Yes, I would take Jokic, Nikola Jokic. Jokic. Nikola Jokic, definitely, definitely. Uh, w- like, I, it's really fun to watch Jokic play. Uh, he's not over assuming and all. He keeps a cool head and all. It's really fun to watch the Nuggets. And not, not so much to watch the Nuggets when they beat the Thunder, but it's definitely fun to watch Jokic mm. when he's putting up those. Numbers, yeah. Yeah. Mm, okay. Next for you. Who do we have next. Uh, I'd say Joel Embiid. Joel Embiid. 
He's not been he has he's not been, but I think the Sixers have not been playing quite well though. Joel Embiid has not played the last uh, the two three games. He's got some some strain or something. Something you know he's played too much and his body's not used to it. But so, uh, I I think uh, before that also the, the whole Feb, month of Feb and part of June uh, Jan which is under consideration. He has been killing it. He's averaging a double double without doubt. But he's also reflecting a lot in their wins, especially mm-hmm. since the whole Tobias Harris and all that crew came back. Okay. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think Joel Embiid is part of that conversation. Uh, I would then pick Dame Dime Dollar. Oh, Dame Dollar. Uh, yes. I love him. Yes. Put him there. Put, just put him there, man. Put him there. Put him there. I'm putting him there. This is me putting him there in the, in the team. Yes. He's been consistent. Yeah. Oh, like, uh, mm-hmm. they've been in the top three or four teams throughout as far as maybe they get, went out out of the top three or four contention for some time, but for the most time they've been playing consistently really well. Okay, okay. I mean, without doubt, I mean they they are tied for third place right now. Yeah. With the yeah, I mean it's Rockets, Thunder, and Trailblazers at the. I mean in that yeah sequence yeah so yeah that's, that's good for them. Okay. Uh, my next candidate is Mr. Controversy himself, Kyrie Irving. Oh, no, please. No. Ha, what? No. Kyrie Irving, man. What, no, what are you saying? No. Hey. no. The only reason Boston Celtics are even in the fifth position is because they play in the fucking Eastern Conference. <laughs> no. We are not giving Kyrie no, Irving No, man. Top. They've been beating. Kyrie no, see, Irving is Kyrie... not top 10. We're still in top 10. He's we not are... top 10. Yeah, but this is... We're oh, we're still in top 10. Yeah. No, I mean, well, you, you don't think Kyrie Irving deserves a place in the top 10? No, he doesn't. Uh, fine. Then I'll have to go with Mr. Donovan Mitchell. No. Spider-Man. What? what do you mean, no? Have you seen his numbers in this time? I mean, yes. He's I... averaging 25 points. I mean, there are other players oh, also. Ah, it's, it's okay. Like, you can name the other players. It's all right. Like, you're not going to take him off just because other people have been performing better also, right? Mm. Fine. I think for this period, yeah, even the Jazz have a nice record also. So they've been winning uh, number six, and they were they were like outside the playoffs uh, before the end of the year. Oh, where they were not in such a favorable position. That's true. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Okay. So I go with uh, Donovan Mitchell. Yes, please. Your your chance now. So Donovan Mitchell, top ten player. Top ten player, easy. I think. I mean, he might not be number seven or eight, as I've said, but. In the, in that uh, five, six to ten, he's he should be there. My God, uh, I disagree with this. Uh, so uh, it is a very democratic show, so we we allowed dis- disagreements. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I would I would pick uh, I would pick probably Russell Westbrook. Ah, you have sold my pick, and uh, Russell Westbrook. I'm not even going to argue that. Yeah. I was going to pick him next. I just wanted to see who you were going to pick without picking Westbrook. Who was your guy going to be? But I'm not a hater. It's nice to know. That. I'm not a hater. <laughs> you, you is a hater. You is a Westbrook hater from the beginning. What? <laughs> Come on. You is a best. You is a Westbrook hater. You is a th- thunder up hater. You're a, you're a, because they keep beating your Spurs in the playoffs. They so beat you're a hater. Spurs That's once. A, they beat the Spurs twice. Once. Once in 2012, once in 2014. What? They beat them and then they lost to the Warriors. No, the three one Wala series before Durant left. Dude, 2014 is when they won the championship. Ah, then 2015 then. Yeah, I mean the year when they blew that three one lead. Oh, true, true, true. Uh, yeah, come on, like you had this. <laughs> Fine. Okay, your 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 pick next. My my pick. I, I think uh, Blake Griffin deserves a mention in the. Top 10. What? His uh, team is... Yeah. We don't have to just put people there in the top 10. We are already in the top 11, 11 to 15. We are already there. Huh? Then Blake Griffin makes complete sense. Really? Blake Griffin, man. Blake Griffin, he's been averaging a double-double. He's shooting threes at a different clip altogether. Andrew Drummond has been also averaging a double-double. 
and the tremendous is a natural double double but his double doubles are not that many high points he's uh, is more of a rebounds kind of guy okay. i mean yeah uh, drummond but not top 15 in the nba right now i mean in this spot okay 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 let's let's hear your choice now my choice mm-hmm. will be clay thompson ah uh, i knew it i knew it i should have guessed that clay thompson uh okay i mean i i i think clay thompson is a top 20 player but top 15 is debatable but theek hai i i don't know what his numbers are for this particular period of that we are looking at hmm. so what what are we up to now we are up to 12 up to 12 hmm. uh, well, how about ben simmons no 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 a big no what do you mean no no <laughs> that's what i mean by no how can you say no to ben simmons man oh by the way i haven't put kyrie in so i'm going to put kyrie in now oh you're going to put kyrie in now theek hai fine so i think we are done and then i think ben simmons also deserves so no he see he's taken our advice he started shooting threes now he's breaking them but at least he started shooting threes okay we have one more player to go and you're going to take uh, Come on, we have one more oh, player. One player without Ben Simmons. Without Ben Simmons, yeah. Without Ben Simmons, sir. Uh, I mean, I would make a guess for Ben Simmons. Who do you have to make a guess for? I would go for someone on the Spurs. For what joy? Well, they're number seven, and they yeah, were number seven. They exactly. were number five or number six for the longest time till they started losing to the Knicks and Nets and all this uh, stupid teams. <laughs> I think it's I think they are like the curse they, of the Yeah, they they curse of the traveling fan. Yeah, they 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 lost three games in a row and I was to like stupid teams. I was like what the fuck? Yeah, I mean it's too late for them to tank. Like what is going on? Yeah, I'm going to put I'm going to put uh LaMarcus Aldridge. Yeah. What? You don't even like LaMarcus Aldridge. I just know because he's been playing good dude. Yeah, uh, now you're the one who's just putting in people. Who else will you put? Who else will I put? There's a Miles Turner. We could put. He's doing fantastically well on the defensive end. That's Kyrie Irving already put. No, I think. Uh, I think. The, I think. From or D'Angelo Russell. Hello, D'Angelo Russell. From 16 to 20 is all paces players. <laughs> <laughs> They have been killing it. Yeah, 16, 20. But yeah, we are not going till there. So. Uh, I I I think we should take Ben Simmons over Lamarcus Aldridge any day. But no, I would. Yeah, I mean, one team is in the. Yeah, Philadelphia Seventy Six is 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 four is four wins ahead of of the Spurs. They play in the fucking Eastern Conference. Any any player that uh, plays in Eastern Conference is not worth like even <laughs> thinking about, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, that, like, that's a wrong opinion, but like I would have even thought about putting yeah. someone from the Clippers, but then who? The Clippers have also dragged on. They sent away Tobias Harris. Now what do you do? Yeah. We cannot put Tobias Harris. Like he had a strong. Uh, he he is playing very well in the whole Jimmy. But I I think they 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 are making him the clutch player now. Mm-hmm. Like uh, the clutch perimeter player on the 76ers. I I saw his game against the Thunder. I saw his game against. Who, I forgot who it was. And no, that that boy that boy is doing clutch. I mean at least they are giving him the ball and telling him that you know if we don't have an option, you are a man to do it. Yeah. So Tobias Harris has transitioned pretty well from the Clippers to the 76ers. Oh, he's a good different player. roles. Yeah. Yeah, he's a good exactly. So I I have no problem with Tobias Harris on the list. Hmm. Cuz he he started off pretty well. He was in our top 10 if you remember. Yeah. So not sure if we should penalize him for going to a different team. We shouldn't, but then he doesn't like he hasn't played that many minutes and all that stuff, so Hmm. But yeah, I mean it's a new team. It's a new beginning. I, I mean, I, I would rather him than uh, Lamarcus Aldridge. Is what I'm trying to say. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Cool. Oh, cool then. That that's our uh, top 15 uh, day. We'll be, we'll have the list somewhere there, somewhere somewhere in the description box. So uh, let us know what you guys think. Okay, I'm going to go through this one more time. Yanis, Kawhi, okay. Steph, Jan. Paul George, uh-huh. James Harden, Nikola Jokic, Durant, and KD. Lee. Embiid, uh, Damian uh, Lillard, Donovan Mitchell, Russell Westbrook, Blake Griffin, Clay Thompson, Kyrie Irving, Lamarcus Aldridge. No, we just said Tobias Harris. No. 
<laughs> yes, they did. No, dude, come on. Like, Philadelphia is four. And uh, what's their name? Uh, what's the name? Spurs. No. His, his Clippers is eight. So? So? Tobias Harris doesn't play on the Clippers. Yeah, so both the teams are not doing that great. Exactly. Clipper. He does not play on the Clippers. He plays in the 76ers. And they're not playing that great. Ah, of course they're playing well. They, they're they playing well with him is what I was trying to say. No. They did lose to the Bulls though, so... I overrule. But, yeah, man, it's one game. And then that's beyond, beyond our comprehension. I mean, that's beyond our date for fixing this thing. I over... I over- Come on, we, can, we cannot, we cannot put uh, Lamarcus Aldridge over Tobias Harris or Ben Simmons. So you have to decide which one it is. See... The honest truth is, right, San Antonio Spurs is four games below po- Portland Trail Blazers. Ah, below, so they're not going to make that up there. No, I'm just saying they're only four games behind, like, say, OKC. Right? That's it. Yes, but... But, in order of this, the three, they, they, the last ten games, is there five out of five? And they lost three, like, just absolutely easy winners. They, they lost against the Knicks, man. Ah, so, right? but they lost, so, right? So, the point is that they've just had a bad stretch. Uh, but otherwise, they were as good as OKC. Okay, what? Uh, what uh, yeah, what the hell did dude, they say? were like two, only two, one or two uh, losses below OKC okay, for the longest time. Ah, uh, but that is this month, man. Like, what? That's uh, what I'm saying. I'm not in favor of... No, uh, the only reason you're, you're not giving them is because in the last two weeks, they have lost three games in a row. Yes. Yeah, but then that's that's not an indication of how they have played the entire season. No, we're not talking about they've played. No, we're talking about like individually. Yeah, and we're indi- not talking about teams. Yeah. Right, individually, and so we're talking about the best players. Yeah, and the best players, they you have, but we have to reward winning, right? We have to reward yeah. winning. Um, not really. It's not an all-star thing. This is right. a if all you, if you, if, day, if, See, if you're uh, going, lineup. if you're going to put two players from the Thunder. And you're not going to put even one player from a from a team that is like three games away from them. Then that's unfair. But uh, the two players from Thunder have been playing. Ex- um, uh, I mean, I have I've no. Uh, we will argue in the comment section. Okay, fine. We can go with uh, Lamarcus Aldridge. Good. Okay. Then so that's our final list, and uh, we will have the list somewhere. You let us know if you agree or disagree mm. with our list. Okay. Moving on. Our hot take, one of the hot takes, uh, Lakers, last time, like I predicted that they would not make the playoffs, my co-host was very confident that any team LeBron is on will make the playoffs. They have lost every single game since that time, except that one game against the Pelicans at home. They have lost every single game. They have lost their best players. LeBron has been playing absolute uh, shit. Uh, he doesn't seem interested in on offense, on defense even doesn't seem interested in playing and is just going through the motions and I think we can officially even though it's not technically the end of the playoff run for them but we can officially at Ballisby at least tell you guys that Lakers are not making the playoffs this season they have uh, shut it down in some ways so uh, me and Vineet will be discussing as to whether shutting it down is a good strategy or they should still try to go for that final push to salvage LeBron's legacy. So the way I see it is, LeBron's legacy of never having missed the playoffs in his prime is going to go down unless they win 14 out of the next 16 games, which is absolutely insane. But is it worth winning 14 out of the next 16 games? Is it worth trying to win 14 out of the next 16 games where your eventual reward is if they get 6 seed or 7 seed, I mean, 8 seed or 7 seed, their reward is a trip against the Warriors or the Nuggets. Hmm. So, if you play the Warriors, you are looking at a four I mean, at a complete sweep. If you're looking at the Nuggets, maybe you could get one win. I, I don't believe that, but there are more chances of that happening than, you know, anything else. Okay. So, Vineet, if you were the GM, hmm. do you shut down the season? Do you make sure LeBron isn't hurt anymore? You make sure your main stars are not hurt anymore because they have to have that trade value come, you know, next year's season to send them for AD if that thing even happens or do you somehow manage to save a salvaging I mean try to salvage a lost uh, season somehow what, what, what is your view about this honestly uh, I think it has to do a lot with LeBron whether he wants to salvage his uh, legacy or no I think it definitely will tarnish his legacy if he cannot make the playoffs mm-hmm. 
because uh, mm-hmm. you know he's in he, you know he's in the upper echelon right now so people are comparing him with yeah. michael jordan and you know the argument people always give about michael jordan is he never lost a playoff series right and but it's not true but i mean after, like ah uh, once he won once he started winning right um and so i think they will always use this against lebron which is like uh, oh he couldn't even make the playoffs one one season but but do you think that's fair i mean what i'm trying to say is it's not about fair or it's not fair it's just like when you're no, comparing the great what i'm trying to say is see, cool i completely agree with that but this is not lebron speak like even lebron has not lost a playoff series in his speak like when he was in that Miami slash back to Cleveland part, he also did not lose a single series till he reached the finals. Like it was a tr- consecutive eight trips to the finals. Uh, MJ played in the East. LeBron has played in the East. Yeah, but when MJ what played I'm trying in the East, say, the East was like a beast. Mm, uh, okay, objectively, fine. Okay, but not not that great also. Okay, they had a few stars, but fine. Okay, maybe MJ played in a better East than LeBron did. I mean, who who was MJ's competition? We can we can discuss that later. What I'm trying to say is, LeBron is 34, 34, 34. 30. Ah, uh, he's approaching 35. Yeah, he's approaching 35. Yeah, this he's, is he's a year older. This 35th year. Ha! Huh, so he's approaching his 35th birthday. So it's not like, you know, uh, what, what do you think LeBron uh, MJ was doing when he was 35? He was, he was probably on the Wizards, losing. Yeah, that's true. Ha! Huh. Yeah, what was Kobe doing when he was 35? He was in the Lakers losing. He was not winning. He was not getting to the playoffs. Nothing like that. That is also true. That is also true. So, I, I personally, I believe it should not affect his legacy. But I know people have a lot of recency bias. So they're gonna get on with me like, oh, MJ never lost. Oh, MJ this and that. And it kind of makes sense because somehow, I, I think we both agree that you know LeBron controls a lot of the narrative that exists around him. If Yeah, LeBron can make it seem like, I mean, you know, he he is a master of that particular aspect. So, yeah. Now, now, what are your thoughts? No, I mean, see, I, I personally, I feel like it's it it should not be uh, it should not be used against him because uh, he changed teams. He went to a team that is kind of shit. Uh, he was yeah. in the Western Conference. uh blah 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 he got injured for 16 games injured, and i think if yeah. he would have not got injured for 16 games he probably they probably would have made the playoffs uh mm-hmm. which was a big feat in itself uh having yes. said all of that stuff uh you know if i was the gm of the lakers i probably had no control over how lebron plays and i have no control over whether he should shut down or no so i would just be like uh-huh. lebron what do you want to do <laughs> and then whatever lebron wants to do i would be like okay uh, okay whatever you say <laughs> that's what i would do if i was like cuz i think he still has like prime years left i think the next 2 3 years also he can play at a very high level he's not as mm-hmm. athletic as he used to be he can't i think he gets tired much more faster now but mm-hmm. you know he's still averaging 28 7 7 so you know he's still he's still putting up numbers efficiently uh and you know he's always a threat but you you've seen the difference in his body language that's what you're talking about right like he looks defeated and he's like i'm ready to shut it down for the season he doesn't like probably he doesn't like to play with a lot of people who are injured and who are not tested See, the, and the, the just thing, making him look no, bad no actually the thing is this right if you play with shitty play, players unless and until you are <laughs> it's just true i've played with a lot of shitty players and it is the most uh disheartening most disheartening thing in the world because you are giving your best but <laughs> that the thing about the most like i feel the most best thing about basketball is that it's such a team sport that you will only realize how much of a team sport it is till you, until you get like just beaten you know and it doesn't matter how good like i feel like for example the the 2014 series that the spurs won against the miami heat or the 2013 that they were going to win mm. they they killed miami heat they just they they massacred them you know and uh, how, th- at that point of time you mean Le- the part 2 the part 2 second e- one even in the first one 
right even mm-hmm. in the first one the spurs were very dominant it's just that they yeah. screwed it up <laughs> they screwed it up in the last what 29 seconds last minute last minute uh, 23 seconds of game 6 yeah game 6 and then they were just yeah. so <laughs> beaten that it was difficult yeah. like then lebron's greatness you know as a player he could take that team forward in game 7 but if you look at the series spurs just broke miami heat right yeah. um and 2014 was a sweep almost it was just like you we are defeating you yeah and like we're not on. letting this happen again yeah, yeah this is not happening again right and i think after that you had the warriors that came in uh but warriors came at a very different time where there was no real you know i would say no real contention for them when they came in anyway the point being that when you get defeated by a good team or when you get defeated by a team that's playing good team basketball it is the most humbling of lessons that you can you can get uh, mm-hmm. and speaking of team basketball we have to mm-hmm. speak about the indiana pacers san antonio spurs indiana indiana pacers oh god <laughs> i'm so sorry i was like, like my, my, look indiana at the, pacers oh my, my god my transition that... my friend look at this i'm now a pro podcaster you saw the transition i made oh whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, please yes i know that that was, that was really good that was really good okay, i did right. not expect that at all it came completely out of left field yes indiana pacers my god can can someone please explain to me how this team is winning like we need please can you please try and t- tell me how such a team which has lost its only star victor oladipo is not played so many games he's not played for a while now like he's not played he has right. not played and yet the team is number 3 which in the eastern conference is not a big deal but they have actually over achieved more than the celtics and the 76ers which are also playing in the east so it it kind of gives them a little bit of uh, credibility street cred is what i feel how how is this possible like what is happening in india i think first and foremost i think people just underestimate the team so when they go to play I mean, the pacers uh, they don't really mm-hmm. like even if i had to go play the pacers i would be like who's there's nobody there like i don't have to really prepare yeah. and we don't have to look for one guy yeah, just to, you know but then when i think the everybody plays above average and they're playing very well as a team it's just you can't do anything about it in that sort of moment because you're like who do i guard like what do i do who are these players and why are they playing like this like you know there is no who is getting hot like how oh, who yeah. what, where is already po why why is, how come he's not here and yet they're doing all this yeah so i think it's and, mostly that so so who would you give most props to you would, would you give to one of the players your sabonis your bogdanovic your uh, miles turner or to the coach nate mcculloch i haven't watched them play <laughs> i have to be honest i want i haven't watched them play after oladipo yeah. has gone i watched like i think three or four yeah. games when oladipo was playing yeah uh and uh, i just think that they have a very solid team of really hard working pl- people who are above average players uh they have got good three point shooting which is very good they have good mm-hmm. size most of the players are like big like uh, 6 8 plus so that's also always very helpful but other than that i just really have no clue why they're doing so well but i just feel that they're playing good team basketball uh they're playing it the right way because they know they have no star and that's one of the good things about not having a star sometimes in the team is because you know that the only way you can win is to play good basketball right yeah exactly i mean like everyone's numbers just check it out so bogdanovic is averaging 20.4 points miles turner is averaging 16 points darren collison is 14 points the sabonis is 11 points thaddeus young is 11 points so not a single person has like a crazy output like a 25 point 30 point sort of thing but everybody is doing their doing their thing they're shooting well from three pointers they are rebounding well not many turnovers it is like that is very good basketball yeah yeah i mean kobe should learn from this <laughs> again with the kobe hit i i wonder I how we kobe. come we've not yeah hey man come on you can't be hating kobe i, I don't hate champion. kobe brand the player i hate kobe mentality you hate the brand kobe i the hate the brand kobe yeah. Yeah. i mean as a player he's uh, amazing uh, oh <laughs> did he get death threats from the right wing or something <laughs> the kobe the kobe ma- maniacs the, the kobe maniacs the kobe yeah so Indiana Pacers sadly we've not watched many games of yours but trust me I'm going to start watching your games so I'm going to uh, star you on my NBA league pass so I can get notified when your guys play Wait do you have league pass Yeah of course I have league pass Oh my god 
I, I learned something very interesting. Huh. Uh, maybe it's a little tidbit our audience can also hear. I mean, especially our non-Indian audiences, which I'm sure there are at least one or two of them somewhere okay. hidden. Uh, cousins, sister-in-laws, whatever it is. So the league pass in India. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> shoo, shoo. <laughs> Okay. So the the NBA league pass in India is priced at nine ninety nine rupees for a year. Okay. Oh, that's it. So it's cheap. That's it. It is really cheap. And you know, as a result, and in the US, if you do the exchange, it comes out to eight thousand nine ninety nine rupees a year. Hmm. If you do the you know appropriate conversion, all that stuff. So a lot of Americans, what they're doing is a lot of uh, other country people. What they're doing is they're using a VPN and going through the through Indian connections to get the league pass. Oh, because nine hundred nine bucks is what fifteen uh, dollars. Yeah, not it's even nothing. that yeah. much. It's nothing. Fifteen dollars for a year is like crazy for absolute free like uh, absolute content throughout the platform. Like you can you get access to every single game that is happening. But can I can I can I watch it? uh without again a and again and again without a yeah you I mean f- for the us i don't think so yeah if you're in the us you can't take the indian thing right no but you can't one, once take i log indian league pass but once i log in no you it, it tracks no where you are so yeah, if you are right. see i as then if no, i give see, you my netflix, email see, id and password see netflix right if i buy a netflix account from india i can also watch uh, it in the us uh, but I, i i don't think that but netflix gives you access to four uh screens or something right yeah but in I... the nb league pass is just one screen okay 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 so if i give it to a friend and he is watching it in india then i can't watch it okay fair enough uh, yeah so yeah so that's a little a little tidbit uh, also one more tidbit did you know that i mean i we did discuss this but uh, this is for our fans our inquisitive fans did you know that there used to be a time where the number of teams in the eastern and western conferences were not the same Please Google us and let us know if you know when was the last time this was the case. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. So moving away from the Indiana Pacers now, another team which is playing well, but there is no secret why this team is playing very well. It's uh, a simple five-letter word called the beard. Uh, the two words called the and beard. The and beard. James Harden, the Rockets are number three in the Western Conference now. Can You believe it? Number three from their days of being number eleven, looking out from the outside, looking in at the Western Conference, they have now become number three in the Western Conference. Purely on the back of an absolute monster season. I mean, the superlatives are just not coming. We need they're just not coming. What are the superlatives that you can use for Harden's performance? Travel. <laughs> <laughs> That's a superlative. Uh, uh, oh, uh, Uh, that that is a superlative travel it's not just a so travel. i i think i in the in the past a uh, couple of months every you know i think what has happened is you had these uh, groups of people who cannot believe how amazing james harden is and uh, they have you know they have all these uh, and i think we should get uh, hopistani on our pod to discuss james harden Uh, I'm going we to will, send, I'm going to send will. him a message. He is he is one of those people though. He, he is one, one of the haters. People. He's one of the haters yeah. of James Harden <laughs> and I think uh you know they definitely have a point but I don't think they have too many points. Right? So the only point they have is that it is so boring to watch him. It's mm. totally true. He is absolutely boring to watch. Uh he'll do the double 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 step back three or the or Miss uh, Capella gets rebound try yeah, again. Yeah, something like that. So triple, it's just triple, like triple, triple, triple. Yeah, <laughs> but there is a beauty in just being so good at executing what you're really good at. And yeah. you know, I think, I think more players should do that rather than you know try to do everything. Like I think Kevin Durant can score forty five points a game if all he does is take two steps, go into the paint, turn around. Jay jumper he can just do that all day no one's going to stop him right yeah. and mm. you know he should just perfect that shot to a stage where you know he's taking 20 he's taking 20 shots his accuracy is like 70% and he's just just banking that shit right yeah um uh, because like even if you look at some of the he great... can do that he's just not required to do it like he was on the OKC so he he doesn't No, need to do it i think the problem with, uh, with with a lot of players is uh, well not a lot of players but 
you know the 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 great the guys who want to be great they want to do everything they want to shoot from every part of the court like you know kevin durant is a lot about like you know i want to get really good at shooting from every part of the court and like high efficiency and all that i'm like man you know Ab- kareem abdul jabbar scored 38000 point out of which i would say like 25000 was just one freaking shot right karl malone scored 36000 points out of which like 35000 points were <laughs> literally the same in, in that thing <laughs> right so yeah. i think i think there is there is something to be said to be so great where you know it is coming you know what he's going to do and you still can't stop the guy cannot stop it like carl yeah. malone and john stockton were un fucking stoppable everybody knew what they were going to do like they just yeah. knew everybody knew what they were going to do they just couldn't stop them because they were just so good at what they did together and yeah. that's the same thing i'd say about about james harden is like you know he's got two moves mm. he's going to either dribble 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 step back three or he's going to try to go to your left try to drive in lay up or pass to capella that's it he's not going to do anything oh, else yeah yeah he's not going to do anything else and if you mm. as an opponent cannot plan for that and stop him then the shame is on you not on james harden who is really good at what he does right yeah i i agree with the part that he's told you that this is what i'm going to do and if you can't stop it then yeah please uh, take the blame upon yourself take the l and go home exactly and there are there's yeah. a there's a lot about like oh he travels and and i all, i always tell this is like it's just a reverse layup that's what it is it's it is exactly what it is two and a half steps and a shoot shoot yeah that's it i mean i yeah i mean they, they recently started doing the double step back which is like okay you, you could do that also then where does it stop like what what does see the only problem sometimes you? is when he gathers the ball first and then takes it like last little you know last little step uh, uh, last little double step yeah, yeah. it's like cha 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 one two cha 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 yeah. two three cha 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 right so i think what he does is he does that fake and i also do that sometimes and i think you guys like i think varun gets really and see about it is uh, the audience cannot see my raised eyebrow in this uh, podcast but yeah it is raised it, it is, is raised. raised no but the thing it is, is raised. you know you can like if you're good, basically the funda is like if you can move your feet without holding the ball uh, yeah right. that's what it does yeah. he's like he's not gathered the ball he hasn't he's... gathered the ball yet he hasn't gathered the ball yeah right and it throws the defender off right yeah. so when i also used to do it like you to, you you both would call travel on it i would be like no i haven't i haven't gathered the ball yet i've just moved my feet i mean yeah exactly I mean, because we don't have refs right so we are not looking we just assume that this is what you did maybe you did not do that when but we can't see it because right. you moved and we thought that the ball was gathered whatever i mean that, i i completely understand like yeah he is not gathered the ball he has made the movement to throw the defender off and the defender is like in a normal lay, in a normal person would have gathered by the time he did this yeah thing. so exactly. basically yeah, what yeah. he does is he dribbles the ball and he acts like he's going forward but he yes. doesn't he's not gathered the ball yet and then he takes a yeah. step back gathers the ball takes it and shoots yeah right so which is which is like some amazing dance moves it's a, it's a very Ballet. yeah right because if you would have if you would have got like if you would have gone forward it would have been a layup ah oh. right like if it had taken a step exactly. front then gathered the ball and done the whole thing it would have been a layup anyway so mm-hmm. that's i guess like a, a huge contention and obviously there are times where he has traveled uh but, but uh, yeah i mean is the nba i mean yeah, they have refs to call that if yeah, you don't and call if it the, if the nba if the refs doesn't call it then it's not a, it's not a travel that's it Yeah. <laughs> can't be blaming a uh, superstar's MVPs, uh, two-time MVPs for you that. You can't. I mean one time but one time. soon be two time. <laughs> so, yeah, so I think uh, you know, it'll be interesting to see I think Giannis is going to win the MVP for sure. Uh, I also agree with that. I don't think it's going to be any uh, hmm. How many games are left? I think another what 20 games? Less than 20 games. Less than 20 games, right? So hmm. until unless james harden starts scoring like 45 points a game and rockets how 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 far are rockets from number 2 i think 5 games i mean four and a half five games okay and if rockets reach number 2 or number 1 i mean number 1 is impossible but if they reach number 2 uh 
I think then you should give it to James. But otherwise, you know, consistency. Uh, being the number one team. Being the number one team since, the, since the, get go. In, in, I mean, Yanis has like uh, 28, 12. And, yeah. Uh, it's not a four job. or five or whatever. Oh, that's, yeah, that's not that a has to be recognized. And, yeah. And... Uh, you know, and they have beaten big, good teams also. It's not like, you know, it's not like they, like yeah. they have played Best against... Best record in the NBA. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, I would I would give Giannis the MVP, but, you know, in the next... Who knows what the Beard will do in the next 15 games, right? Like Yeah, have, I mean, we never thought that they would be number three also. And you said he's averaging 40 points in the last... What's something like that? He, in the last 35 games, he's been averaging 40 points. Are you sure? 35 games. Yes, last 35 games. So, it's not this year, but uh, since since they, they were in a deep hole, and he had that insane 40-point sequence, if you remember. Yeah, yeah. But then he had an insane 30-point sequence also, as in consecutive games with 30. Yeah, because he got snapped at 20. So, yeah. all, all of that included, it's a, a 35, over a 35-game stretch, it's an average of 40 points, man. I, I wish I was lying, but I would not. That's crazy. That is crazy. That is absolutely crazy. I mean, that's we, a crazy if he, weight. If he ends up this season averaging forty points a game, I think that's like the second highest. I would say. I think, right? Uh, I mean, Wilters had like 50, 45. And I don't think he'll average forty points for the season. But no, he's he could, thirty-seven he's already. already. Averaging. No, he's not thirty-seven. He's thirty-seven. He's thirty-one, thirty-two, or something. What? Get the f out of here. He's thirty-seven, yeah. dude. Thirty-seven. No way. Yeah, yeah. What? I'm sure because I think last time I saw he was thirty-five and he's been scoring crazy. Ever since, let me check. He's averaging 37. Oh my god, are you serious? Yeah, 36.7. What the hell? James Harden, what are you doing? 37 point. Oh my god. That, I, that, I have nothing to say. I have, I'm speechless. I am without speech. Oh. Whoa. That is that is crazy. That is crazy. That's like Tracy McGrady. That's like uh, Kobe Bryant best season. Oh Jesus Christ! Yeah, I thought it was like 32, 33 or something. Jesus! Wow. So yeah. So like so I that, said, if, that, if, yeah, if, so if then yeah, if if he goes on this like if he can crack forty, yeah. if he if he cracks forty, then and and yeah. if they reach, you know, number like, three, number two, number two, then number two, they're then, already three. Yeah, then I think James Harden deserves MVP. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we are not going to discuss James Harden's failings in the playoffs because that's not the point of this. Uh, no, it's a, it's a, it's a discussion. It's, it's a regular season award. That's yeah. a different ball game altogether. But yeah, well, yeah. we will discuss that when we get to the playoffs. Maybe we might have something. But yeah, I mean, on that crazy bombshell, let's end this podcast and uh, let's uh, promise you that we'll come back by next week with a whole new topic, whole new ad- addressing different sagas and uh, different uh, yes. topics that we will have yes. made up by then. Yes. Isn't that right, Vineet? It is right. It is right. It is right. So, yeah, please let us know what you feel about the feel about our opinions. They are obviously opinions. They are backed by facts and our inner biases. But we are always open to feedback. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Uh, all right, then, Vineet. Please uh, say bye-bye to our lovely audience. Uh, we'll catch bye you next bye, week. Bye-bye, lovely audience. Bye-bye. Yes. <laughs> okay, take care. Bye. Good night. <laughs>